Well, let's see what's on TV. Crazy enough to play TV for you. Any way will do. TV Okay, what do you want me to do? Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Thanks, 
for bringing me shopping, Kim. I really need to go. Sure. Traffic is bad, though. Should have asked Tom to fly us. <coughs>
oxygen. Flexible layers move with your body, while thermal control wicks moisture away. Keep moving. Stay free.
The time to call Consolidated Credit is now. When debt is the problem, we're the solution. Call Consolidated Credit now. Call 800-525-6082. Call now. <laughs> hey, Dad, have you ever tried uh, assembling model cars? A guy who retired from my work does it, and he loves it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Relax, I'm taking care of it. Relax. Greg, do you know who Mr. Mixeltex is? No. Well, I do. But I shouldn't. I shouldn't know these things, Greg. <laughs> hey, Tom, we got an extra kid and some instructions for you right there, man, so jump in. Uh huh. Hey, Dad, pass me the glue. Uh -huh. take you shopping, too. <laughs> Buy you some clothes that cover you up a little bit. You're married. You're not going out to clubs and showing off your goodies anymore. Oh, yeah. It's a spot, huh, Dad? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, this blue guy hasn't hurt, has he? Watching a 65-year-old man fly a small plane into his onions is reward enough. <laughs> try planting orchids, so maybe you could take up gardening as a new hobby. I don't think so. Sounds kind of lame. Lame? Sounds kind of lame. I'll tell you what sounds kind of lame. It's a five-year-old man wasting all this time reading the funnies. Okay. Well, see, you I'm just sure don't understand. Comics are an American art form. Hey, what? Why don't you come to the convention with me tomorrow? Maybe you'll understand. No, 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 no. No, uh, no, 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 sure. You don't have any time for me and my interests, but I'll tell you something. When you were growing up, I was always there for you. Even though I had to watch you strike out time and time again. <laughs> I didn't play baseball. I'm talking about what I chaperoned the school dances. <laughs> Sorry, Dad, I just don't want to go. Fine, fine, sure. But I'll tell you something. If you found something of interest, I'd be there for you. Even if it was just to see you have a good time. Fine, I'll go. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it won't be as weird as I think it is. Oh, great. Well, Carlebon Lock Lady. What? <laughs> well, it's a uh, Kryptonian fruit. Thank you. <laughs> Boy, is this great or what, huh? You got 
got 300 book dealers here, live performances, and film festival. I don't get it. Why do so many grown people want to dress up like they're in the comics? I'm kidding. It's fun to pretend you're a superhero. You know something? Last week at the house, we blew a fuse, and I couldn't figure out how to fix a thing, so I thought to myself, how would the superheroes handle it? You know, like the Green Lantern could light his way. Superman could use his X-ray eyes. And Spider-Man can spin a web around your mother's mouth and keep it shut until the electrician gets <laughs> Thanks for coming with me so I don't have to be the only normal person here. Oh, no problem. This is going to be great. There's nothing funnier than getting crazy people talking. Hey, watch this. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Are, are you a robot? Actually, I'm a cyborg. I'm part man, part machine. While my human side controls my actions and emotions, my machine side, powered by its ray jetpack, enables me to travel at light speed throughout the universe. So, uh, do you live with your hey, mother? Hang on, guard you, Oh, 
I'd do the same with you. If you were in danger, boy, uh, I'd make sure that you were safe. Suggest a merger. Go on. We make cookie layer with caramel covered in chocolate for the right side of the pack. And Leftwix makes cookie layer with caramel covered in chocolate. No, clove to chocolate. Totally different process. Try both and pick a side. Twix. At highway speeds, things can get pretty windy. That's why the Chevrolet Cruze Eco has active aero grill shutters that close at higher speeds to improve aerodynamics. So it offers an EPA estimated 42 miles per gallon. The best highway fuel economy of any gas engine in America. That's American ingenuity to find new roads. Now get this great sign and drive lease on a Chevy Cruze Eco. This test paper behaves like the surface of your skin. Now watch what soap does to it. Soap strips your skin. Dove is different. With one coat of moisturizing cream, Dove doesn't strip your skin like soap.
ranting slightly here, but I just want to make this point. What really upsets me, and loads of you guys know this, you've been there, is to go there on a Monday night in February, and every restaurant is packed out, and everyone's another bottle of Chardonnay. There's loads of money, because that's the one business that's thriving, with no controls on it and no regulation on it. God, I hate that town. So anyway, moving on. On the point about Andrew, on the point about Andrew, Andrew, but Andrew always talked about retweet the hate, retweet the hate. So when some, when you go on Twitter and you start saying stuff, people will say horrible things to you, like I hope you die, I hope your children are born handicapped. And what you do is you retweet that, you retweet that, and I put it at the start of it. When Andrew died, people wrote awful things about him. Loads of you guys know that on Twitter. And I retweeted what they wrote and said, your parents must be so proud. And education wasn't lost on you. And you know something? Not one of them ever responded to me on that. Um, but Solan O'Brien got into an argument, some of you know this, with Joel Pollock, great, great Joel Pollock from Breitbart, on this issue of race, this race issue. You remember this thing on, um, what's it called? Critical race. Critical race. Critical race theory, you know, one of those critical race theory. Anyway, long story short, Solan O'Brien, who was meant to be moderating a debate, ended up looking like she was speaking for the White House. Just unbelievable. So she was amazing. So people like me started tweeting and saying, you, madam, are a disgrace to journalism. That's all. You know, people wrote that. I wrote it at the same time. Maybe, maybe 50. Um, <laughs> and other people, and loads and loads and loads of other people wrote the same thing. Here's how Twitter works. She went on CNN and said on CNN, will people please stop tweeting? Don't you want to annoy Silver that O'Brien? You got a tweet. You got a tweet. John Harkwell over there is a disgrace, by the way. Can I just say, anyone who knows him, desperate. He's got a Twitter account. Every, he tweets every time he sees me because he knows I'm coming after him. You see, this is the problem. This is the problem. I would really encourage you to tweet. Um, and here's how it works for us. And I'd like to you tell the story. Well, it's again, it goes back to the thing of, of environmentalists and the left, actually, not being used to hard questions or hard facts from journalists. Twitter makes you a journalist. You find some information, you put it out there. It's a, it's a, it's a news agency, actually, that everyone can read. So, Sean Honnell Lennon, you know, uh, $200 million, uh, his mother's $500 million, he, he, uh, he, but he has 100,000 Twitter followers, but he's had an easy life, and he's now an artist against fracking, and he hates fracking, and he doesn't like fracking. So I started taking him on on Twitter, and, you know, it went uphill for a while, and then he just couldn't handle it anymore, so he said, you are an excuse for an abortion. No, you are an argument for abortion. Oh, an abortion. argument for an abortion. How is that? How is that? So, so, you know, I then found that, and it went somehow mysteriously made its way into the media. I don't know who would have alerted the media to that. But, but, but that, that's what happens. It's in the mails and daily news. It was, uh, it went, and the Huffington Post. That's what happens, and that's the power Twitter gives you. You're able to talk to people directly. You're able to put your thoughts out there. The, the article you find, you can put out there with your comments. And sometimes, like, Anne, during one of the debates, Anne will tweet out there with facts about, about uh, she found Obama was green, the truth, what a surprise, about gas permits. She put the figures up there. It was retweeted 1,200 times. That's, and so each of those people have thousands of followers or, or not. That's a potential audience of millions and millions of people with, with your comments, with your thoughts, with your news. So you can you, that means you've got higher you have a higher readership than Piers Morgan has most nights of the week. You know, you, have, you can have higher readership than the New York Times. You know, we love to say about the New York Times. Can you remember when the New York Times made money? Well, ask your doctor. Uh, if uh, you're, old your, enough, if no. you're old enough to know that, then ask your doctor. See, Alice is right for you. Um, we, I'm, I'm conscious of this time piece here, so I'm going to watch that. We uh, would encourage you wildly, first of all, come to the film tomorrow. How many people here can come to the film?
They were told to disperse, and they failed to disperse. All they could do was bring the apartments, which most of the students did. So those that were arrested, so be it. He paid to live there, and he should have the right to be outside because the weather was nice, and there was no need for him to be to get that done to him. You hear there are some people defending that student. Police estimate there were about 800 people at that party. The state attorney general is suing the owners of a Center County mobile home park. Students says the owners of Hilltop Mobile Home Park and State College entered into an agreement to sell the site. They didn't comply with a law requiring them to pay <coughs> relocation expenses. The attorney general says Kenneth and Sharon Mays must pay $4,000 in relocation expenses to each resident who relocates or buy out the homes of those unable or unwilling to find a suitable replacement site. The suit asks the Mays to pay or restore money to residents who are forced to relocate as part of the mobile home park sale. Officials with the attorney general's office say any resident living there is eligible for compensation. That's going to be our perspective, and we would strongly suggest that any, any of those folks who did move out should contact us. Um, they can get online, provide a complaint to us uh, at our website. Coming up, we'll have more on the student talk with a resident who still lives at that mobile home park. All right, so say police say Clarion Man left his wife at a car dealership, took the money he had for a car so he could fund a cross-country trip with his 13-year-old girlfriend. The man, 31 years old. Lisa and Clarion charges. The teen is safe. More charges are pending against Joshua Baker. Chief Justice Ronald Castile presented a final update on how the judiciary has addressed recommendations to change the state's juvenile justice system after failure to move the county led to federal prosecution of two judges. Judge Mark Chivarella and Judge Michael Conahan were sentenced to 20 years in prison for illegally accepting bribes from developers building youth detention centers to send young defenders there. Some of the charges or changes presented at the Juvenile Justice Academy held in Hershey Monday included prohibiting juvenile restraints in the courtroom unless it's for safety precautions, requiring juveniles to have an attorney present during proceedings, establishing an extensive question and answer process before a juvenile can enter a plea agreement, creating a quicker appeal process whenever a juvenile is removed from his or her home. And the state has now paid out more than $42 million in fees connected to the Jerry Sandusky scandal. The total as of January 31st is just shy of $43 million. That includes $12 million of a $60 million fine imposed by the NCAA. Largely, $42 million is made up of that fine, legal fees, and an $8 million cost of the Free free report. Get that bastard out of the Meanwhile, a project at Penn State Dubois is raising awareness for sexual assault. Students are invited to create t-shirts as part of the clothesline project. The colors of the shirts have different meanings. Yellow is for women who have survived assault. Red is for dollars. survivors of rape. White is for those who have died as Just a result of being out. abused. The campus group SAFE is sponsoring the project. I feel that this is something important to bring to every community, every year. It's especially important on campus because we're dealing with youth during their development. Um, they're at high risk for sexual assault. Now students can create t-shirts through Wednesday. A man is recovering in the hospital this morning after he was shot by an Altoona police officer, but again, investigators still haven't said why the man was shot. The UTAJ News reporter Cody Combs has been working the story since it happened yesterday morning. He is here live in the studio. So Cody, what is the latest on this? Angie, we now know the man who was shot contacted an attorney from the hospital. That's according to an attorney who contacted WTAJ. What we don't know is what caused the officer to pull the trigger. State police are handling the investigation. They say the Altoona officer fired one shot and hit the man in the chest. The shooting took place Monday morning in an alley that runs between 3rd and 4th Street in Altoona. Although injured, the man is expected to recover. Neighbors say the area has had its fair share of problems lately. This used to be one of the nicest neighborhoods around, and now it's just like every time you turn around, something different's going on. And we'll hear more on the investigation from state police coming up in the newscast. Live in the studio, I'm Cody Combs, WTAJ News this morning. All right, Cody, thank you. A drug discovered in the dirt may someday be used to prevent cancer.
the mice that got rapamycin appeared to have their cancers prevented. Find out when scientists will begin testing this drug in humans. Coming up in Health Tech. And wait till you see how not mild it is out there this morning. I'll talk about that and how long it's going to last. Coming up. The spectacular 74th Annual Java Shrine Circus comes to town April 15th through the 21st. Featuring Grandpa the Clown with Bruno's Tigers. Or we are the Jimmy Paul's Bears. With the magic of Benito and Dolce, the quick change performance will be you. Carson and Barnes Dolphins, New Calypso Ariel, and Russian Swing Axe. The famous Java Shrine Clown. All family entertainment at its best. With family circus prices. Come on for tickets today. 944-5351. What do you want to get done today? Want to take the loader off? Bing, bang, boom. Need to connect a mower deck? Oh, look, you just did. The one family subcompact tractor with dozens of attachments. Only for John Deere. Now, how can you top that tomorrow? That's how we run. Nothing runs like a deer. See common sense innovation at work with the one family tractors at johndeere.com slash how we run. If you can't work because of serious physical or mental problems, we can help you collect the money and benefits you may have come. I'm Cindy Berger of Berger and Green, a disability lawyer, and I help disabled people go after money, medical care, and monthly benefits. Don't give up. We can help. Call Berger and Green. 1-800-999-2626. Call me. Uh. You get benefits. Why don't others offer zero-turn riders with steering wheel control and four-wheel steering? Who else puts electronic power steering in lawn and garden tractors? How many others deliver the beautiful Cub Cadet signature car? Prove to yourself what makes Cub Cadet the smartest choice. Take a test drive at your local dealer. There's no better time to get a Cub Cadet thanks to $100 off select models. In the central Pennsylvania area, visit your local Cub Cadet dealer today. Help South is a proud sponsor of WTH News. Live from your news leader, Patrick Shore, Angie Cayley, and weather with meteorologist Regina Miller. WTH News this morning in high definition continues. Welcome back to the 510 right now. This morning I was looking for my coat all over the place. Like, Where's my coat? Where's my coat? I'm looking for one second.
riding in uh, just to the south of that front. To the north, it'll still be warm with the sunshine for today, but it'll be a little bit cooler than it will be in areas to the south. So as we take a look at our future track, showing this morning, a mix of clouds and sun for the noon hour. I think we'll see a fair amount of sunshine for later this afternoon. There could be a stray shower storm. Best chance will be in those areas to the north. And that will be late afternoon or evening. During the overnight hours, there could be a uh, shower or storm around. And then for tomorrow, I think this is a little bit overdone, but we could see an afternoon shower or storm around. And also, it's going to be very warm and windy for tomorrow. So for today, temperatures in the mid to upper 60s to the north, to the south, temperatures in the low, a couple places even in the mid 70s. And we're going to see clouds and sun. There could be a stray shower or storm later in the uh, day or this evening. For tonight, partly cloudy shower, storm possible, overnight lows in the mid to upper 50s. Up and then for tomorrow, we'll see a high, look at this, 38 right, degrees, getting close to the 80 degree mark for tomorrow. Warm, windy, so it's going to be a warm wind. Could be a shower or thunderstorm around in the afternoon, also in the evening hours. For Thursday, that's when we sure stand the best true. chance for uh, late Thursday or Thursday overnight into Friday for a steadier, maybe heavier period of some rain and some thunder possible as the front goes through. Behind that, we'll see a high temperature on Friday, 60 degrees, and clouds may break late in the day on Friday, Saturday, cooler, 52. There could be a shower or maybe uh, just a stray shower around on Saturday, mostly sunny. For Sunday, it starts to warm back up again. So we've gone from winter coats yeah. in, in, in about a week to eating a whole lot of stuff. I know. Some people like me who are really late. Oh, geez, that's <laughs> You may be muddling through allergies. Try Zyrtec D, powerful relief of nasal congestion and other allergy symptoms, all in one pill. Zyrtec D, at the pharmacy counter. What do you expect to accomplish this year? Now, during Kubota's Great Expectations sales event, get a great deal on the Kubota PX Series, the top-selling subcompact tractor of the decade. Steve, and continuing throughout the week, we will see a threat for some spotty showers, but... Almost near 80 tomorrow, so that's what we're talking about. So nice, mild air finally settling in. And as we take a look here at satellite radar, we had a few spotty showers. Uh, an isolated thunderstorm moved through parts of Mercer, Venango early this morning. Now partly cloudy skies. And the thing is, uh, pretty much throughout most of the day, I think a lot of us are going to stay dry, and we'll just notice these clouds continuing to move in and out. Taking a live look over the city, not too bad of a start for us this morning. Average higher on this time here, 59. And we're at... Our average high already and well above it in a lot of spots this morning. You can see 63 into Indiana, 59 in Johnstown, 64 Altoona, Pittsburgh. You're waking up at 60 this morning, 61 well, in Brown, so into sure Butler. So we have this low pressure system mainly north of our area, that cold front north of us as well. So that's what's still going to give us a potential threat. For 99. Charlie, I'm going to take a nap myself for a couple hours.